Ella Prize was one of my first artists. She was hot. She had it all, the body, the look, the voice. Everybody I took the label to was looking for something fresh, something new. I had that in her. Young lady, 27 years old. Body from heaven. Had it all stylistically. Wasn't really looking for a lot of vocal chops when it was playing out. But I wanted songs. So we went with a social urban jazz sound. And baby, she could deliver. <laughs> Couldn't keep my damn hands off of her though. I learned eventually though, you know. Plus the single was taking off. Going through the roof. So I had to get my business together, you know. Get my family back on track. Can I show you something? But it was hard. Man, it was still hard. Still had that problem. Shh. God, I need help, man. And I needed it bad. I started looking everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I see red, man. What's up, nigga? Yeah, man. I think I'll pick you up so you got them snatch this nigga up, man. Yeah. Me and Al go way back. Been my dude there since seventh grade, growing up in the projects. You know. He was always that type dude, though, that liked them women. You know, things was changing, though. Nice these popos right now, nigga. You know, like uh, preachers and all these fake singing niggas that think your friend and these niggas. Hey, you know, I won't go there, but, you know. We were looking for a different story. We was trying to write a different story. He was down with it. And that's what I found out. Most of my niggas from back then, from street niggas and all that, they was really for me. Man, I knew I was in over my head. I didn't know how I was going to end. Again, I started looking for a way out. It's like a dope game or something, a drug game. You know, got people that love you and hate to see you going down that road, but they don't know what to do to help you. A lot of times, ain't nothing they can do. You got to help yourself. That's why I was bitch. God was going to help me. Fuck you going to come over here. Game, cause you got a little money, nigga. That ain't shit. Keep them hands up, nigga. Let me see them hands at all times, bro. I know you know that UFC kung fu boots, me, whatever. Listen, man. Shut the fuck up. I'll take care of that bitch, kid. How the fuck you gonna live with you? So slap. I barely made it out of that last incident alive, but I made it out. I knew I had to do better. You don't know what it's like, but you death in the face. You don't know if you're going to make it or not, but I made it out with a couple of bruises, swelling in my face. You know, it's crazy. You're going to say, I whooped that nigga. 
Fanny another black man. And I'm the one caused the problem. 